We are in Ubud still. Ubud? 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 This week we arrive in beautiful Bali. The first stop for us is Ubud. We stayed in a lovely homestay and the first job was to walk around and see what this town has to offer. Ubud is a very busy place full of bougie cafes, shops and restaurants and also great activities. Shesmanique jewellery and we are going to have a jewellery workshop to either get a ring, some earrings, necklace, we haven't decided yet, I think I'm going to go for a ring, Rosie's not sure. I know. We decided to go with Shesmanique as they had a very good review on Google and were just up the road from the main town centre. We wanted to make something we could keep that would remind us of our first big trip travelling. So to start, we are choosing our ring design. So I'm going for a ring, so you can see my amazing sketches. I hope it turns out better than that. Look right. Can't see it. Yeah. Go with that. I think. Oh, I hope so. I'm not very good at arts and crafts. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that, like the uh, indents. Yeah. The workshop involves sketching a design, hammering into the raw silver, filing and lots of polishing. The staff were very helpful and always around to help you and sometimes sort out my mistakes. <laughs> you lying. Do you think we've got a future as a jewellery maker? Most definitely. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like the the lady we met from Mexico and Vietnam. You can start biting them all. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do some planning of... What do you think? First hole? Happy with it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to look. <laughs> Tea break. Thank you. So this is your ring so far. Happy with that? <gasps> Perfect. 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 Perfect.
So you finished the class, how long did it take? About two hours. About two hours, yeah, not too bad. Um, and do you want to see the results? Come on, let me look around. Got rings, mate. Um, how much did it cost? So you came to about 74 pounds? Yeah. 74.50 or something, just over. It's definitely worth it. I mean, you get to do it, get to make it, shine it, whatever you want. So yeah. it's definitely worth it. I mean, it's fun, isn't it? Getting around Ubud can be a pain as the roads are very congested, but luckily for us, we could open up Grab and jump on a scooter whenever we needed it. in Ubud still, Ubud? Ubud? Ubud, Ubu, Ubud. And we are going on the bridge walk today. So we're going to see how that is. It's right near our accommodation. And then we're going to go to the Ubud Palace and then Sarawati, I think I'm saying that right, Temple. And then we're just going to go with the flow. Oh yeah, we might go to the museum as well. No, we didn't. We had ambitious plans, but we both got very sweaty and decided a nap, a shower and a big lunch were a much better option. So it doesn't actually look like it, so it's pretty cloudy today, but it is hot. What do you say? Yeah, Bali is hot. It's like we haven't had this heat since Thailand. Yeah, and maybe on the islands like Samui. Yeah, it's a completely different type of heat here. It's like super muggy, super sticky. It's not like the dry heat we've got in Laos or, or, no. or anywhere like well, that. Well, they were cooler as well. Yeah, it was a cooler temperature, but here it's just muggy and like even in the evenings so when we've been here the days have been pretty dry but in the evenings it's just thunder and lightning just absolutely yeah. drenching raining loads but it doesn't seem to cool down at all so you think oh it's going to be rain and nice but it just gets even stickier yeah it's very deceiving because a lot of the time it is quite cloudy but yeah and then on the weather it always says it's going to rain at some point yeah and it never does that's probably the time of year we're here obviously but it's just it is if you're gonna be here, you're gonna have to. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't understand how people do it in the summer. Yeah. Like, this is their winter and it is scorching. What do you call that stance? The getting the rice paddies. Deep lunch. Deep lunch. So the ridge walk actually finishes quite abruptly. It doesn't really have a sign that says it's finished. But if you carry on, you get views like this. Look at that. Gorgeous, mate. Also, one of the best parts of this is that hardly anyone, well, people do come here, but it's not as crowded as most of Bali. So I think the, the Instagrammers kind of get whittled out here. They're, they're not willing to walk 20 minutes to be sweaty, be sweaty. <laughs> and like us sweaty messes. Ubud has a lot to offer. It's a hub for yoga and has beautiful scenery. If activities and tours aren't your thing, then you can chill out and enjoy the amazing restaurants, cafes and bars. Make sure you add Ubud to your itinerary when you next head to Bali.
what you didn't see was Rosie started, she was like, oh, I'm going to take the big camera out today. And she was on the bridge trying to take a picture and she had the lens cap on like a real noob. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe.